Since all of you tall, smart, handsome, cute, fun, incredible subscribers watched my roulette video, which took 19 hours of filming, 5 hours for scripting, and 10 hours for editing, you know that Pokemon Moon has a very, very large Route 1. Route 1 of Pokemon Moon has 5 sections, and according to Bulbapedia, they're all part of Route 1. In Route 1, you can catch 16 different species of Pokemon, all obtainable at different progression points in the game. I started the game and listened to Kukui Yap. Picking up my photo and watching Lily steal a glob of snot from some white people. Kukui then abducts me in the night and makes me pick a starter Pokemon. I pick Poppyo, giving Hao an Incineroar, which will probably be the hardest starter for me to fight. After Kukui teaches me how to throw a Pokeball, the great catching of 2024 begins. Chica the Piggy Peck, Balloon Boy the Lediba, Circus Baby the Young Goose, Michael the Caterpie, and William the Pichu. We take on Hal at the Festival Thingy, and the next morning grab Rotom Dex as well as Bonnie the Wingle with the last of our 10 balls. Lily then takes us to Pogo Center, allowing us to buy more. With my new balls, I grab Mangle the Rattata, replacing Ladybug and making a pretty powerful squad of 6. We start the trainer school, taking out trainers involving Caterpie, battling against a very powerful Grimer, and sacrificing Young Goose to win the fight. We square up against a teacher, using Pichu to cripple her and defeat her with rock smashes from Pikachu. After finishing the trainer school, I run back to grab Slowpoke, adding Marionette to the team. I also run back to Eastern Route 1, grabbing Spinarak and Grebin to give me backups in the box. I get to Hawuli City, dealing with the team Skull Punks and squaring up against Ilima. I use yawns and curses from Slowpoke to put Young Goose to sleep and boost my defenses, before switching into Rattata to take the kill. Next up is Smeargle, put a charm with Pichu, Growl, and Supersonic from Wingle, two rock smashes from Picky Peck, take down Ilima. Moving forward, Michael evolves once again into Butterfree, and we take on trainers heading towards the first trial. Picking up a silver power for Butterfree on the way. We head into the trial, taking out Rattatas until Team Skull interferes. We take them out, taking out one more rat until it's time for the trial totem Pokemon. I leave Pichu using a Charm and Raticate before swapping out. I do some switching, eventually getting Slowpoke out to put both Raticate and Rattata to sleep. Once they're dreaming, I set out Chica and a few rock smashes take them out, earning me my first Sea Crystal. I head to Melee Melee Meadow, where Chica evolves in Trumpy. This evolution is going to be crucial for our upcoming fighting grand trial. Anyways, we grab Nebby, returning it to Lily before taking on an easy rival fight with Hound. Our next task is our grand trial, so I box our Rattata and bring on Ladybug. My intention is to sack this thing if it gets sticky in our fight. I leave with Butterfree, taking Mankey out with two confusions, but I do take a little bit of damage from Mankey. Out next is Makuhita, but I stay in, taking a fake out before using Sleep Power. It connects, allowing me to use a Gust before Hala uses a full heal. A Gust did do half though, so I outspeed and kill next turn. Out third and last is Scribrawler. I bring up Bonnie, hitting shockingly weak wing attack before getting hit by Leer. Fearing a Z-move, I swap out into my tanky Slowpoke. But during my switch, I get hit by Pursuit. I am at full health, but it kills me anyway. I bring up Slowpoke, hitting a Yawn, but I take two Pursuits before he falls asleep, dropping me into deep red. I hate two confusions, but then I am faced with a dilemma. If Kubrawler wakes up next turn, he outspeeds me and kills me. That's fine, I'll just switch in, but he's only using Pursuit since it's super effective. Marionette is holding the Quick Claw though, so I hope and pray that he either stays asleep or wakes up and outspeeds. Quick Claw activates, allowing me to take him out and win the fight with just... He uses a Super Potion, getting back to full health, and now I have to switch, so I pray he doesn't wake up. And he doesn't, allow me to bring in Chica. I bring in Chica and three Echo Voices take out the crab, winning me the fight by the skin of my teeth. After the fight, William does evolve into Pikachu, which is awesome. Having Pikachu will make the upcoming Butter Trial much easier, and I can evolve it again shortly after the Fire Trial too. Now that almost all of Route 1 is open to me, it's time to grab more encounters. Smashing rocks on Route 1 proper allows me to grab three more encounters. I first find the GOAT. Crying Child the Bonsley, and immediately the next encounter is Foxy the Munchlax, who's holding leftovers, which is just an insanely good early game encounter. Unfortunately, our third encounter does require SOS chaining, so I bucket in for some long waiting. If you SOS chain either Bonsley or Munchlax, there's a chance to get Hapini and it's an SOS ally. And sure enough, after about 15 Bonsleys, a Hapini finally appears. I name her Ballora before setting sail for our next island. On our next island, we find Cinna and Dexio from X and Y. Beat up Cinna before moving forward. I get into Paniola Ranch and was mentally preparing for my fight against Hao. I remember this fight well, having struggled with it in the past, but not today. I start the fight with Trumbeak and he starts with Pikachu. I could have sworn he started with Eevee, but whatever. I swap around my Pokemon, eventually landing on Pikachu. 
One speak just to confuse when Nasty Blatter is the power of a resisted Thundershock, and Pikachu went down. I then swapped into Slowpoke to take care of Torcat, winning my fight pretty easily. I moved forward, meeting and beating Gladion before evolving Bonsly into Pseudo Wudu. Even though I did just get this exciting Evo, I boxed in for Grubbin for the upcoming Water Trial. Moving into this Water Trial, Mangle the Rattata evolves, as well as Grubbin, just before we face the Trotom Pokemon, Wishy Washy. I leave with Freddy the Charger Bug, hitting a spark, doing one third and getting the paralysis. I hit it again, triggering his berry, but it was still at less than half. He does hit a very powerful water gun, which if he hit me again, it will kill. I test the waters, no pun intended, switching into our new Raticate. On the switch, he hits a water gun, doing less than half. I attack, doing a little bit before taking a helping hands boosted water gun, setting me to 1 HP. But Wishy Washy does lose his schooling, forcing him back into his weaker persona. I swap out in a slowpoke with Loma Mola using Heal Pose, healing Wishy Washy enough to take one confusion before turning back into his beefy persona once more. Alamomola uses Heal Pulse again, healing Wishy Washy back to 80%. I take a lot of damage, switching into Munchlax. I lower his defense to 6 stages before swapping around to take the KO with a spark from Charger Bug, winning me my third trial. I leave the trial site, boxing the Hero Charger Bug and bringing Sudowoodo back into the squad. Yeah, meeting Hapu and defeating some Team Skull numbskulls. After beating them down, I head into the Battle Royal Dome, kicking Rockruff repeatedly with Sudowoodo until it goes down. I then head into the fire trial, leading with Sudowoodo and firing off rock throws on every opponent, two-shotting the totem to Lazzle and getting me my fourth sea crystal. Now that I have both fly and surf, I head back to the first island to get my last remaining encounters. Now that I have both fly and surf, I head back to the first island to get my last remaining encounters. There's a small sliver of coast by Kukui's house that is classified as Route 1, so surfing in that little area grants me Vanessa the Finneon and Gregory the Tentacool. This kid, this, this kid, the goat, the goat, the undisputed goat, he is him. These, unfortunately, are my last encounters of the entire game. Hey, quickly, please subscribe. It helps out a lot for small channels like mine, and I really appreciate it. Thanks. Forced to continue the game though, I pass through the tunnel and meet Colrus. I move forward and find a Thunderstone. I now have an Alolan Raichu before my fifth trial. My Pokemon are still in the low 20s of levels. This is crazy. Speaking of the fifth trial, it's time for mine. I take off Sudowoodo and Slowpoke for Butterfree and Charger Bug, as well as Spinarak for Raditz. Use Silvermans from Butterfree to deal huge damage before swapping into Raichu to finish off the Lorantis. Finally, I bring up Munchlax to bring home the gold. After the battle, Munchlax evolves, and I grab his fellow team members out of the box. I go to the Dimensional Research Lab and talk to Lily, pretending to care about what she was saying before heading into Diglett's cave. We do defeat some Team Skull goons there, leaving to enter one of the coolest cities in Alola. I head to the cemetery, helping Fabio and beating Plumeria just before fighting Olivia. I do add Finneon and Tentacle to my team, Tentacle to actually fight and Finneon just to sacrifice. Finneon does end up being spared, but Slowpoke does not, which marks our third death of the run. The only water shifts I have left are Tentacle and Finneon, and I really don't want to use Finneon on my team. After the fight, Trumbeak evolves and we go into the Aether Foundation. There we meet a woman who is clearly 40. I mean, she definitely looks like the average 40-year-old to me. Either way, we beat the weird space jellyfish thing that Lucimine definitely doesn't do anything weird with later. Either way, we get boated to the next island and beat Hao again. His team is just three Pokemon. It's so weak, bro. Anyways, after a battle, we go into a park in the library, meeting a weird purple girl, before heading into a mountain across from Mount Lanakila for our next trial. On the way, Tentacool evolves, and we make it to the summit. Before the trial, I boot two cannon and Tentacruel off the team temporarily for Blissey and Charge Bug. We boot Mulane and head into our electric trial. I have the answers to the sound system quiz memorized, so even with my audio off, it's a breeze, and now it's time for the totem. Snorlax hits twice, bringing Vika Bolt into the red. I play around with Swishing and kill with a Psychic from Raichu, netting me the Electric Sea Crystal. I had two cannon and tentacle back on the team, for it's time to fight against Guzma. This fight is actually scary, so I had to lock in... Nah, I lied. A Beak Blast sent Galissapod packing, and I killed Masquerade with one Rock Tomb, and killed Galissapod with a Charge Beam. I missed, so I bring out Gregor and take the kill with an Acid Spray. I move forward, shouting up Gladion and finding these super attractive little- I mean, I'm not Dr. Phil. I'm not Dr. Phil. 
I'm not Dr. Phil. I mean, little kids who want to battle me. I swap Snorlax for Ariados and Raichu for Butterfree, preparing to square up against Mimikyu. Sudorudo takes hits like a champ, dishing up powerful rock slides. The two cannon dishes out burns with Beak Blast after Beak Blast, getting me an easy Ghost to Z Crystal. I add Rikachu and Snorlax to the team, before temporarily forgetting to record and taking out Plumeria. I finally remember that I had paused my recording and learned that Young Goose was taken by Team Skull, meaning we had to go to Potown. So to Potown we go, beating up Skull Grunts and getting the password from memory. Thank you, little Matthew, for playing this game instead of going outside. Either way, it's time to enter the ring against Guzma. I prep a Beak Blast, hoping to bring Galissabot if it goes for either First Impression or Sucker Punch. It does neither and sets up a sword stance. I do hit Beak Blast though, triggering Galissabot's emergency exit and bringing in Ariados. One Beak Blast cooks the spider, and I burn Galissabot before killing with Gregory the Tentacle. Retrieve Young Goose and head back, before fighting against Gladion to prove our strength. After the fight, we head into Aether Paradise. Why? Not really sure. Either way, it's time to prepare for my upcoming fight against Nanu the Dark Specialist. I do mean to add Charge Bug to the team instead of Rikachu, but I forgot. But I beat him anyways. After the fight, we get immediately whisked to Aether Paradise, fighting trainers before getting into three trainer gauntlets that are honestly kind of scary. We beat them and move forward, beating even more Aether Goons with ease before going against Guzma one final time. We win, and it was pretty easy, not gonna lie. But we make it to Lusamine, and we are forced to sack Rikachu to win the fight, making our fourth death. Rest in peace, little guy. You were really awesome. Make it to see full failures, we replace Rikachu with Vikable and Raticate with Blissey. I push forward to seeing Hapu once more. I'm gonna skip ahead to my fight with Hapu in the Grand Pony Canyon. I threw Vikable off the team for Lumineon and start the fight. I use Lumineon to take care of Doug Trio and Roost Spam and Beak Blast from Chica to take down Flygon, Mudsdale, and Almost take out Gastrodon before I ran out of Roost PP. I switched out and kill, winning the fight. We also did have to sack Raticate in the fight, but it's whatever. Making my way through the canyon was pretty easy, all things considered, until the final trainer before the Dragon Trial, wherein I am forced to sack Lydian to win the fight. Again, it's Lydian. It was mostly there to sub screens, but rest in peace anyway. But at this point, my box was getting a little small, and my options for good team members were not that great. I do add Blissey to the team, but things are getting a little dicey. Anyways, I go up against Como, -O, beating it with two Beak Blasts from Chica, before swapping into Blissey to drop Scissor's offense, healing myself up and putting it to sleep, before swapping into Gregory to kill. Getting me an easy, deathless final trial. Finally, it's time to summon Nuala and take on Squid Simi. The fight was genuinely easy, considering I had a team member for each of hers, and I won without an issue. I started the fight against Lunala and accidentally hit the button to reload my save, sending me back to the start of Grand Pony Canyon. I decided I had beaten this portion already, so I just boxed Letty in off the team, not worry about deaths in this section, and replay this portion. I get back, forced to catch Trash Luna Nala before getting back to the base of Mount Lanakila. I'm in the endgame now. I screw up against Gladion, but my team is so good, I take care of him easily, allowing me to breeze through the tiny victory road, before getting stopped by Hal before the league. Vikavolt takes down Raichu, Sudowoodo takes care of Incineroar, Snorlax takes Komala, and Blissey and Vikavolt take down Leafeon. My team cannot be beat. Throughout this adventure, I've really fallen in love with my team. This playthrough is so interesting, forcing me to use strats like a Blissey without attacking moves, but it isn't too hard that I don't want to play it. The diversity in my team has always been amazing, and these last five fights will prove how incredible they really are. Also, by the way, my recording software did get messed up, and I didn't notice, so the video is cropped really weirdly. My bad. Kahili's Sky High team gets grounded by Vikable and Sudowoodo, and Hala gets smashed by Chica and Sudowoodo. Acerola was grounded by Blissey, and Olivia was rocked by Tentaroo. Finally, it was time for Kukui. Lycan Rock gets rocked by Greg, Snorlax takes down Snorlax, Bravery by Chica, Decidueye by Chica, Ninetales by Gregory and Freddy, and finally, Magnezone gets taken down by Tentaroo making me the league champion and the victor of this run. I will applaud this game for its encounter diversity. Because logging this game is always a treat in that regard because my team is so different any time. Pokemon Moon is still a deeply flawed game, but does have its upsides. Thank you for watching this challenge. It was really a lot of fun. Please subscribe and watch more.